So hello guys, what's up sa inyo? For this video, first, ano, lipat muna tayo dito sa news, sa ano, gate vlog. So, ayan, so, featured dito is, can a hard fork uh, revive the collapse Luna? So, try natin basahin, di ba? Ay, nako, bukula kasi hindi ako nakapagod. Okay, ito, so trending to guys. So, on May 17, though, Kwan, so the founder of Terra around the Terra Reconstruction Plan V2 version 2 which plans to make a hard fork of the Terra blockchain and build an ecosystem that does not include the USD's uh, stablecoin project. So, um, in version 2, of course, hindi na lang include si, ano, si USD as a stable project, uh, stable coin project, okay? On May 18th, Okay, Terra Builder Alliance submitted a governance proposal number 1623. If the proposal is approved, the hard fork of Terra blockchain will be carried out on May 27 up until now. So on online voting, the proposal has won 80.25% support. So Terra ecosystem, USD performance, and Luna price rarely uh, stands or fall alone. So even though the Terra Extraction Plan version 2 has initiated dispute from people of various articles, uh, circles, it has also given a ray of hope to major projects under the Terra ecosystem. Okay. On May 17, Do Kwon, a founder of Terra, announced the Terra Extraction Plan version 2, um, which plans to make a hard, a hard fork a Terra blockchain and build an ecosystem that does not include USD stablecoin project. Okay, then let include sa so, ano uh, version two. So uh, the six uh, existing Terra blockchain and Luna token will be renamed as Terra Classic and Luna Classic. Okay, so try. <laughs> and the newly forked blockchain uh, will be Terra and Luna as signal instead so previously on may 14 doko other had put forward a proposal to fork out the terra blockchain and redistribute luna tokens which triggered extensive dis discussion in the terra community and the entire crypto community supporters of the proposal believe that the fork proposal is expected to rebuild terra's ecosystem on the verge of collapse in the crisis and compensate Luna and USD holders who have suffered serious losses before. So, while well, opponents of the proposal believe that the fork is meaningless to save Luna, okay, and the new chain will be worthless. Again. So, the proposal reconstruction plan version 2 has made some adjustments on issues such as token allocation uh, compared with version 1. Okay, specifically, the new Terra blockchain will maintain network security by issuing additional Luna tokens. Okay, with a staking return of 7% per, per year, so Luna tokens on the new chain will be airdropped to previous holders of Luna Classic. Okay, uh, holders of USD and important developers of Terra Classic blockchain, specifically, the supply limit of Luna is. 1 billion. So 30% of the newly issued Luna will be reserved for the community, of which 10% will be allocated to developers, and the remaining 70% will be airdropped to Luna, Luna or LUNC, Luna Classic, and USD uh, holders according to the number of tokens held. So uh, the wallet address of Terra Blockchain's official Terraform Labs is not listed in the airdrop list. So the new Terra Blockchain will become a blockchain completely owned by the community. So in addition, so this also mean, means that the uh, Terra Project team decides to abandon the stablecoin project USD in order to preserve the whole ecosystem of Terra blockchain as much as possible. So, ano ang tingin dito, guys? Diba? <laughs> so, ito yung to token distribution. Ayan. Community poll, 30%. So, pre-stake. Pre-attack Luna holders, 35%. Ayan. 
Ayan, basahin na lang, guys, for more information. Kasi, ano, medyo mataas to. Ayan. Diba? Ito. So, Terra Ecosystem. Terra Ecosystem and Luna UST. Ayan. So, for more information, guys. Nandito lahat. So, ano. Basta, mayroon dito sa, ano, gate, IO gate vlog. So, nandito lahat ng mga, ano, cryptocurrency news. Ayan. So, I'll recommend to, ano, read. So, madami pa naman dito. Just, ano, na lang. Diba? Diba? Ayan. So, ito. Isa to sa mga ano nila. News. Si Terra Luna. Ayan. Meron pa dito. The couple of these days. The loose of regulation. Ayan. So, napaka-informative dito. Guys. Um, ano. Black. Uh, gate blog. Ng ano. Gate Ayo. So, Gate Ayo. News. Ayan. Makita nyo dyan dito. Punta kayo sa gate blog. So, yun lang naman guys. Ano. Ako uh, sabasahin nyo dito guys. So, more information. So, sa mga ano dyan. Mahilig sa ano, mga news ng ano. And cryptocurrency. So, ayan. So, thank you guys. See you on next video.